when I get up, put my makeup on, get dressed, <laughs> put my wig on, and then go downstairs for breakfast. It doesn't take that long. That's a good thing about having a wig. <laughs> It actually started back the first of November when we realized there was something wrong with Christina. She had been losing a little bit of weight. Her appetite was still good, but she wasn't gaining it back, so we're getting concerned. I was home for three days because I was getting sicker. So we went to the hospital. The doctors agreed with us that something was severely wrong. They did a chest x-ray and uh, she had multiple lumps, but she had a mass in her chest that was nine inches by almost 10 by six. So it was basically a soccer ball in her chest. It took up uh, about half her chest cavity. She was medevaced out immediately. It scared me a lot. <laughs> Didn't know what I was gonna do and how I was gonna tell my friends and how my family was gonna react to it. Christina came and she was full of life. Her emotions, she wears them on her sleeve, which we very much love about her. Our doctor told us we might want to relocate because it would be a, a long fight, which was shocking when you have five kids, to say the least, and uh, are pretty settled in your life where you are, and, which is 1,300 kilometers away. The social worker came to see us and told us that uh, they had set a place up at the Ronald McDonald House for us. We had a room whenever we were ready to go over. It's something that we as a department fought hard for because we know the benefit that it has, especially to our families. It's made a huge difference. Having this place has been wonderful and my parents have been there for me through it all and I'm really thankful for that. She was very upset about a lot of it. She had missed uh, the snowball dances at Christmas and she loves that. and. Uh, Following social media, she sees all her friends doing what a normal 15, 16 year old should be doing. I've had six rounds of chemo. It was not the best time, but I got through it. <sighs> She's sleeping good. She actually snores a bit and grinds her teeth, which is annoying. <laughs> I don't snore. <laughs> He's much funnier than I thought he was and much nicer and we never really were that close before all this happened. I think this really helped a lot. I think just the whole family commitment as a teenager, sometimes you don't feel your family's overly important. It's friends and social life and so on. Your family's there for you all the time and you know, she, she got that. My dad told you, didn't he? Yeah, I went back um, last weekend for prom. And I had a lot of fun. The place was beautiful. I liked it. It's not been easy for her, and she's really been tough, and she's gotten through this. And um, it's been really amazing to watch how she's grown up a lot as she's gone through this experience. Never thought I was that tough, and I never thought I could do it. I did it. <laughs>